In this video, I'm gonna break down, react, and review Gabrielle Karuba and Jordan Fisher singing If I Could Tell Her from Dear Evan Hansen. So, let's sing something. La la la! If you are new to my channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon because my channel teaches you how to sing. Yay! Now today is actually video number three of a seven part series for Dear Evan Hansen Mondays. You guys, my subscribers, voted in my community board on what songs you wanted me to break down. So each week I will go through the musical in succession and I will break down a different song that was voted on. Which means that if you haven't subscribed yet, um, you're totally gonna miss out because every Monday I'm gonna come out with a new Dear Evan Hansen video. Yeah, so you should subscribe. Today we're gonna go over the vocals of Gabrielle Karuba and Jordan Fisher. As I'm going through these, I'm also going to create a cheat sheet, just like every other video. And you are welcome to download that cheat sheet with hacks and tips and tricks on how to sing like them stylistically. Just go to vocalfreebies.com, click on cheat sheets, and then click on Dear Evan Hansen. There's Ben Platt in there, there's Laura Borges, Borges, um, Mallory Betchel, now there's gonna be Jordan Fisher and Gabrielle Karuba. I'm doing so good remembering all these names. But they're all gonna be in there, all free, totally downloadable. Okay, let's get started. He thought you were awesome. He thought I was awesome? My brother? Definitely. How? Well, he said, there's nothing like your smile, sort of subtle and perfect and real. He said, you never knew how wonderful that smile could make someone feel. And he knew, whenever you get bored, you scribble stars on the cuffs of your jeans. And he noticed, that you still fill out the quizzes that they put in those teen magazines. This is interesting. So I've only heard Ben Platt sing this song. So not only sing a different singer, but he's not doing the quirky mannerisms. He's going about it in more, I don't want to say like a normal aspect, but it sounds a little bit more pop feeling a little more contemporary. I, I, I'm having trouble like putting words to it, but I'm, I'm just so used to Ben Platt with this kind of quirky social disorder kind of thing and his mannerisms and the way that he goes about it with like this innocent little feel. Um, he almost seems, oh God, should I say it? A little more on this handsome, sexy end of things and not so quirky cute. I want to put you in my pocket kind of feel. Does that make sense? But he kept it all inside his head What he saw, he left unsaid And though he wanted to, he couldn't talk to you He couldn't find a way But he would always say Okay, so as far as vocally wise, he's keeping a lot of air. But he kept it in. Da, 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 da. Ah, there's that excess air. Now, Ben Plan also does it, but he does it from a higher placed area. This is a little bit more lower. But he kept, it's got a little bit more <laughs> sexy, smoky kind of feel. I hate to say that. You know, I'm probably like. 15 years older than him, but you know what I'm talking about. It's got a little bit more of that feel to it. Um, and if you're wanting to create that, then you would just pay, place the sound a little bit more into your throat, into your chest. Think of it a little bit more like you smoked some cigarettes kind of back here and give it a little bit more of that rather than, but he kept it in, but he kept it in. It's got that kind of feel just a little bit, definitely more than, than a Ben Platt version. Do you like to sing? Then you should join my Facebook group. We go live with vocal warm-ups, singing Saturdays, warm-up Wednesdays, and even our monthly group challenge with all sorts of prizes. Click the link
link in the description below and join our creative community of singers just like you. If I could tell her, tell her everything I see. If I could tell her how she's everything to me. But we're a million worlds apart. And I don't know how I would even start. If I could tell her, if I could tell her. So he's already doing the flip, which is done. Um, I just did the review for Waving Through a Window with Ben Platt. That's on the playlist. And he also does this flip of the voice. If I could tell her. But he flips there. I can't quite flip there because it's not quite there. But um, then I could tell her, tell her, tell her. That flip there within the voice. Um, as a male, that's going to be easier for you to flip because it's going to be more within your range that you would normally flip. But if you're trying to create that, you would create some tension within your diaphragm. Feel it. Tell her. And then on the her, you're going to add a little excess air. This is manually creating that sensation of that flip into your falsetto. As you start to do this more and relax into it, then you can create more of a natural feel for it. But this is something that I will add into that cheat sheet that you can download at Vocal Freebies um, for his vocal style choice within this. Did he say anything else? About you? Never mind, I, I don't really care anyway. No, 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 he said so many things. I'm just um, trying to remember the best ones. He thought you looked really pretty. It looked pretty cool when <laughs> you put indigo streaks in your hair. He did? <laughs> and he wondered how you learned to dance like all the rest of the world is in there. Yeah, even his mannerisms, he's got more confidence behind him as he's kind of walking by and you can just see by the body chemistry, he's kind of like, hey. So he's definitely more of that style and vocally wise as well. He's not flipping up too high. He's not adding any like kind of um, squeaks, I guess you could say. He's definitely keeping it more of a sensual tone to it. Um, and he's got a little, well, does he even have a tattoo behind his ear? Like Rebel. But he kept it all inside his head. What he saw. Left unsaid. If I could tell her, tell her everything I see. If I could tell her how she's everything to me. But we're a million worlds apart. And I don't know how I would even start if I could tell her. Now his high notes are sounding really good, um, except for the er, tell her, her. It's, it's hard to create that sound without going into the er. There is a little bit of pull up of the tongue. Now I do realize that this has been pre-recorded and they are now lip syncing over the top, but if he's doing that even in the, the lip syncing section, then he clearly does this when he's singing and you can kind of hear it. There's a little bit of tongue tension, but it adds to that kind of rock and roll feel there is a, you know what I'm thinking of I'm thinking of um American Idiot the musical he's got a little bit of that feel to it you know that kind of rock feel just a smidge of it maybe I'm totally off you guys and maybe you're gonna kill me in the comments but um I kind of feel that with his vocals in this and they that that was a beautiful harmony meld right there that seems so far lift 
But we're a million worlds apart. And she has a really nice stretch within her vocals. We're a million, something like that. Um, to soften it, they're both purposely adding that excess air to it, rounding it just a little bit and really bleeding into each other or blending into each other. Probably better than bleeding into each other. It's done really well. I don't know how I would even start if I could tell her. Nice straight tone. Go ahead and click here for my free downloadable cheat sheet on how to sing like Jordan Fisher. And click here for the entire playlist of Dear Evan Hansen Mondays. And if you are a singer, you should come and hang out with me in the Facebook group. The link is down below and I will see you in the next song. Bye.